You know, next year in 2025, it's actually the 25th anniversary of Dental World. If you look at the speakers, they're probably the speakers that you've thought about going and visiting and traveling to see in person or hope they came to you. But if you come to Dental World next year for the 25th anniversary, you'll find them all in one place. And I'll see you there. Hi, um, I'm Dr. Mike Melkers. I'm from Hanover, New Hampshire in the United States. So this is my first time at Dental World and I, it was just such an honor to be invited. So I spoke this time on sort of a balance of communication, occlusion, and case planning. So something that's sort of practical that people can take home and put to use. The three topics that I lecture on can never really be separated. So we can become really good at treatment planning or we can become really good at occlusion or really good at communication. But if you're really good at treatment planning, but you can't talk to this patient, you can't understand the patient perhaps is a better, is a better saying, we can't help them towards health and help them towards treatment. So the three components that I have in my presentation boil down to how do we want it to look, how do we make it fit, and how do we mitigate threats. Putting all those together help clinicians and help me take it better to, uh, back to my patients. I think one of the things that's a really key take home message from my lecture is we do not need to be omniscient. We do not need to know everything. We really need to work with our patients as partners in moving them towards health. I, I often say that to our, my patients is, you know more about you than I ever will. So if you'll allow me the chance to journey along with you and better understand you, I can help you towards your goals. So this is, I, I, I've been fanboying this conference for about as long as I can remember. I have lectured on five continents, and if you could see underneath my jacket, my hair is actually standing up, even though this is a interview. I have known of speakers who have come and presented. They rave not just about the venue, but the city, the people, the attendees. So I've, I've almost been begging to speak at this meeting for years. So the chance to finally come here with my wife, not only for dental world itself, but to explore Budapest, uh, the people, the cuisine, and the culture has been fabulous. You know, post COVID or actually during COVID, we all get very comfortably uncomfortable in staying at home and being able to breathe again and get out and meet our colleagues. Uh, I practice in the United States, but I interact with clinicians all over the world. And here at Dental World, I've, I've had friends that have come from Barbados, from Italy, from the UK, from Estonia. And the opportunity to get outside of our own bubbles and our own microcosms of what we know and exchange ideas with each other, I think is one of the most critical aspects of events like Dental World. And I don't know that there is another event like Dental World. The way that Dental World and, and getting together with our colleagues like this helps our professional development is, I think the easiest way to explain that is when we practice alone, we learn alone, and we only know what we know. When we ever really share with just hundreds, if not thousands of our colleagues, we get to experience perspectives and skill sets outside what's usual for us. And that's where growth comes from, is finding out not only what we want to know, but things that we don't even know that we want to know. And that's the exchange of information and ideas here that really excites me. You know, next year in 2025, it's actually the 25th anniversary of Dental World. If you look at the speakers, they're probably the speakers that you've thought about going and visiting and traveling to see in person or hope they came to you. But if you come to Dental World next year for the 25th anniversary, you'll find them all in one place. And I'll see you there.